everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is phyllis and here on my channel i share diys home decor goodwill thrift hauls and more and if this is your first time stopping by thank you and please consider subscribing if you like what you see give it a thumbs up and i would love to read your comments and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family in today's video i will be sharing with you how i created an abstract multi-panel canvas wall art for my sister's basement now this art was done in October or November of 2020 but I never did a standalone DIY tutorial on how I created this I created this and here are some inspirations but the one that I'll be copying or close to duplicating is this one right here this is the one that she chose offline and these are the canvases coming up this is what they used to look like and they were on her basement landing wall um, and I changed this wall um, we took the canvases down instead of giving them away and a majority of these her daughter painted they used to be white but her daughter did the painting now that her colors are no longer those colors we're changing them out and now this is what the wall looks like after taking the canvases down again we didn't throw away the canvases or give them away but we reused them and I just used regular household paint because that's what we had on hand to color them and you can see here where I started um, painting them white and then I laid them out on the floor the way that they would be hung out on the wall and after painting them white I took the black paint and I'm using I didn't use a paintbrush I used the sponge brush you know you can get them in the pack from the Dollar Tree I used those and I basically studied the canvas art that she shared with me um, that she found online and I stared with stared at it for about a day to kind of see how to do it and I just went and I did my own thing and I remember doing stuff like this when I was in grade school on paper just doodling little swirls and the leaves and flowers and things except these are just and I call them track lines and I just freehanded it I had no idea of which way I was going to go with it but I tried to stay close to the theme of the online picture that she shared with me and to get the skinny lines I just laid the brush on its side at an angle and here it is I'm done with the fat line so I'm just going in and just kind of filling in some areas here and I let this dry and then after doing this I painted the borders all around the edge black and when I hung them up I saw the white parts because I didn't connect them there was spaces I had to take them down off the wall again and I painted around the border of each individual canvas here I'm just painting around the border all the way around but again when I took it apart to hang it up initially you could see the white where the painting was connected when it was hanging on the floor so here this is where they're all pushed together and all I did was paint around the border of the entire canvas put together. When I hung it up, you could see the white. So I took them down and I just painted around the edges of all, I think it was a total of six, two on the inner square and the uh, rest of them are rectangular. But I really enjoyed creating this and I really enjoyed the challenge of what my sister gave me when she found this online and then coming up I'll show you how it's hung on the wall and then you'll see later um, towards the end of the video where I'll be showing a side-by-side -side comparison so you can kind of say that this is also a dupe a duplicate of an original so I hope you all enjoyed this quick DIY video and I want to thank you all for stopping by
Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.